Hi, hi everybody. Welcome to the first installment of Ron's Basses. Today I thought we'd start off with some bass basics. Uh, this is a Fender Precision Bass. And uh, this is, uh, the Precision was the uh, first mass produced uh, bass guitar invented by Leo Fender. Uh, thank you, Leo. Um, so anyway, this is the body. Uh, pick guard. This is the pickup, which picks up the electronic vibrations, uh, metallic vibrations, magnetic vibrations, whatever, uh, um, of the uh, strings and sends them to the volume control, which uh, controls the output of the signal coming out of here, going to your amp, and then this one. Uh, controls the tone, basically rolls off any high end. If you want, if you don't want any high end, you turn that all the way off. If you want some degree of, you set it where you want it. Uh, strings, these are frets. This is the fingerboard, uh, the neck, uh, headstock up here, and the tuners right there. Um, I chose this bass for this little uh, demonstration here at the front uh, because it's uh, Brian Wilson's birthday and uh, he was known for playing a uh, white on white uh, Fender Precision and uh, so anyway but anyway that's the story there that's a solid body base it's all one piece of wood there and the neck is bolted on this is a separate piece that is bolted on to the body here uh, okay that's the basics of that let's see Okay, one we're going to focus on today is the Hofner violin bass or beetle bass as it is often referred to. And uh, this one is uh, different from the Fender in that uh, it's a semi hollow body bass. There's uh, chambers in there. Um, it is also a short scale bass, which means uh, the distance from the nut to the bridge is shorter than uh, the Fender. This one is a short scale bass, 30 inch scale. The Fender is a 34 inch full scale bass. Um, short scale basses have uh, certain tonal qualities that some people like, like myself, and uh, that some people don't, uh, like uh, not me. <laughs> uh, and uh, let's see. It uh, is a two pickup bass as you can see there and uh, so that takes uh, advantage of the tonal qualities which I'll, I'll, I'll show it be easier to demonstrate on a hollow body bass uh, if you pick down by the bridge you hear but up at the neck see it's got a little more depth to it and less twangy top end so that's why uh, some people prefer a two pickup bass or even a three pickup bass. Um, just to take advantage of the wide ranges of tones in the uh, playing area here. Uh, this bass has a trapeze tailpiece as opposed to the bolt on uh, metal plank basically uh, on a Fender Precision. It's got uh, flat wound strings and uh, so let me show you a little bit. Now here's the control panel there. And uh, it has a volume control for each pickup. Here, let me unload it up. Volume control for each pickup. An on off switch for each pickup. And then this is a, like a boost switch. Um, so when I play this bass, I only use this pickup up here because I want the full low end tone of uh, that pickup. So that's just that pickup there. And so switch it off and switch in the bridge pickup and so you know so you see the difference. Now of course you can do both of them on at once if you wish. Gives you uh, kind of the best of both worlds, I guess. But uh, like I said, when I'm using this bass, 
Uh, I just have this pickup on. Now the interesting thing, or one of the many interesting things about this, about a Hofner bass, there is no tone control. Um, you are basically, uh, the way you would adjust tone is by pickup selection and by mixing the level of each pickup with the uh, volume controls to get the tone you want. Um, but that's one of the weird idiosyncrasies of a Hofner bass of which uh, there are several. Uh, this is a set neck or glued in neck as they, as they say. Uh, this is a separate piece from here but they are attached, uh, they are glued together with some heavy duty uh, glue I'm sure. Uh, anyway, so that's you know, the fender was a uh, bolt on neck. You see that it had that big metal piece with the, with the big bolts through there, hence the name. This is a set neck. The set the neck is set into the body and glued in or glued in neck. Uh, the third type of neck is the uh, neck through, which we'll talk about uh, on the with the Rickenbacker, which we'll do next time. Um, so, you know, I played a uh, sunburst one of these for about twenty five years in the uh, Eggman. Uh, but uh, it was kind of getting beat up and uh, I uh, decided to sell it before it, uh, well, while I could still get a good bit of money for it. Let's put it that way. So I sold it and I bought this one, which uh, I really, really like. I think it looks very cool in black. Um, and. Uh, this sticker here, Baseman, is uh, like the one that McCartney had on the rooftop show. Uh, he had one very much like that one stuck onto his base, which he had, uh, uh, Fender had sent them a whole back line of amps, and uh, one of them was a Baseman, a Fender Baseman, and uh, apparently, I guess, uh, he peeled the sticker off the carton and stuck it on. That's that's the only thing I can come up with. But anyway, he had that, so I of course had to have that when we did the uh, the rooftop gig uh, a couple of years ago now, I guess, on top of the Austin Library uh, at the 50th anniversary of the Beatles rooftop show. Uh, I had my friend Brian uh, make this sticker for me. Thanks, Brian. Um, uh, so let's see. Um, this is my main bass. Uh, this is my bass for the first set of the Eggman gigs. This is the one I, I play at uh, pretty much every show, and uh, I like it. It's small. It's light. Uh, as uh, as people are getting older, uh, a big heavy uh, Rickenbacker bass, for instance, uh, made of solid maple, uh, weighs a ton on your shoulder. <laughs> But I love Rickenbacker, so, you know, that's the price you pay. Um, anyway, <clears throat> this, is, uh, this is my main base with the, for the first set with the uh, Eggman. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, this is a trapeze tailpiece, by the way. I don't know if I covered it, uh, but uh, maybe it did. Anyway, this is a, a pretty lo-fi bridge. Uh, not much adjustment to, to it, and if you do adjust it, it's kind of a, it's not easy to deal with. But, uh, so it's kind of a set it and forget it and hope for the best. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I hope you've uh, found this in some way interesting, and uh, we'll do another one uh, next time. Uh, this is the Hofner Violin Bass, uh, a.k.a. The Beetle Bass. And thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to uh, uh, post them on the Facebook page. And uh, I love talking about bass guitars, and so uh, I would love to uh, answer any, any and all questions that you may have. And uh, also, and if you want to give me some criticism, that's okay too, because this is my first time doing it, and uh, uh, I obviously didn't have a script. So anyway... Um, See you next time.